Good morning, everyone. It's January 1st. It's freezing cold, and we have work to do today. Um, we're going to start bringing tools over to the new project house. So first step is get in the car and go get the truck, because the truck's going to make it a whole lot easier to bring the tools over. So. Hey everyone, so I picked up the truck and loaded up quite a few tools from my house into the truck. Uh, I'll probably have a couple more trips to do from some other projects to bring more tools over to this next house. Um, but uh, on my way right now to the next project house, it's a house that I'm really excited to work on. Uh, I won't tell you everything about it right now. Um, I'll give you the full tour and explain everything about the next project pretty quick. But yeah, super excited, um, excited to show you, and it should be a really fun project. So we'll check back in a bit when I get over to the house. So I'm here at the next project house. Like I said, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I know you haven't seen it yet, um, but yeah, there's kind of a little bit of a backstory to it. Um, I probably won't get into it all right now. I'll wait till I'm inside out of the cold to explain that, but... Um, for now, let's just take a look at the outside and we'll go from there. I know it might not look like much from the outside, but it definitely has some sentimental value and that's what this project's gonna be all about. It's gonna be about restoring this house. Um, it's been sitting for quite a long time. It's got some age to it, needs quite a bit of maintenance, and yeah, that's what it's gonna be about. So we'll go for a little bit more of a walk around outside, and then we'll go inside too, so take a look. Original windows on the house still. You got the nice bottle dash stucco, very popular in this area. I don't know about your areas, but um, for many decades, it was very popular. Nice lime on the house. Satellite dish probably gonna come off. actually the back of the house over here and this is technically the front of the house but it's actually flipped around it faces the other way nice trim boards on the fascia trim is up top as well those are all going to need some work the one benefit of the house is although it's kind of been sitting in its somewhat unmaintained state for quite a few years. Some key maintenance issues were addressed pretty early on. It has a metal roof, so there's never been a leak. At least the roof's always been in good shape. Um, and the windows up top have been replaced. Um, 
the HVAC system, um, furnace, all in good shape as well. So the bones are good as well. And I just love the view from this side of the house uh, with the little dormer, a little bit of a bay window as well. You can see there is some minor ice damming that happens up on this roof edge, hence the gutter is coming off. So we'll have to see what we can do about maybe limiting how much uh, heat loss happens up there so we don't get too much of an ice dam. But for the most part, it doesn't stick around. Snow slide right off. And in addition to the house, the whole yard is pretty wild and needs some maintenance as well. So, on top of it just being a house project, there's um, lots of yard work to do. Lots of trees to be trimmed. You can see behind me trees that have fallen down need to be cut up and removed. Um, there's technically a hedge up here. This was a hedge. But it's more like a full-on forest now. It's got to be at least 15 feet tall, so that can be addressed as well. This tree on the corner of the house, probably a little too close to the house, will need to come down as well. But other than that, it's a beautiful house and I really look forward to working on it. And most importantly, sharing it with all of you guys so you get to see the progress as well. So. I'm um, going to try and make a point of documenting as much as I can, which is kind of a new thing for me. I do lots of projects, but what I don't do is I don't record them all and document them all. So that's what my kind of New Year's resolution is about this year. Is It's January 1st, um, and I wanted to try and just do a little bit better job of uh, showing what it's like to do some of the maintenance and restoration and renovation work that I'm used to doing. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys will get to come along for the whole ride with this house as well. So I'm just stepping inside now. Trust me, there's a lot to be uh, imagined and desired in its current condition, but that's what this project's going to be about, is bringing it back to a somewhat, probably not a full gut job, but probably more of a restoration and just an update. But let's take a look. I'll keep showing you around the house. and is going to need to come out. Another classic feature of the house is this. It's been modified to have shelving now, but at one point it would have had the um, 
flip down ironing table or in some houses it was like a little kitchen table that would fold down and this one I think was the um, the ironing ironing board which I think the ironing board itself is downstairs in the basement which could be put back in that's an option as well um, in here we also have carpet that needs to come out all pretty gross I'm expecting the same hardwood flooring over there as underneath here so probably going to restore just the flooring all through here bathroom definitely going to put some tile in the bathroom and there's this carpet up the stairs too that needs to be all pulled up um, don't know what we'll do with the stairs for a final surface but the carpet's definitely going to go flooring up here unfortunately was painted at some point um, not sure what to do yet about the flooring up here but I would say there's a decent chance that maybe we'll just sand it down and repaint it if we're not gonna because it takes a lot of work to sand it down all the way down to its natural wood state again to get that natural color so might just repaint it that's definitely an option as well love the doors up here original doors to the house with the original door hardware as you can see the doors have been painted in the past as well to match the floor we'll see what we'll do about that this one as well with the original hardware not a lot of space upstairs but it's not bad two decent sized bedrooms um, obviously with the knee walls i guess you'd call this maybe a story and a half because it's not uh the full upstairs it does have the knee walls but lots of storage space and like i said probably some insulating that has to get done inside the knee wall areas. Um, probably going to redo some of the trim on the windows too. Some of them just weren't done very well when the new upstairs windows were put in at some point. Um, and I'm expecting to do a lot of probably drywall repair and some mud work. Like I said, don't want to do a full gut, so I'm not going to be pulling drywall off everywhere, but you can see there's a lot of seams that are clearly visible which could be taped and mudded again so we'll probably end up doing that too but yeah that's your sneak peek of the house all the light fixtures got to go too there's a lot of weird retrofits over the decades that have been put in some 90s hardware some 80s stuff stuff from the 70s kind of just a big mix of uh, fixtures with no common real theme so yeah one of the nice things is the original hardwood floors and what's pretty rare in my area in a house of this age is not only is it the original trim around the windows, the doors, um, but it's not been painted. Uh, most people will paint their trim as the decades go on, but this is still original wood. All needs to be refinished. Probably won't paint it, probably will just keep it its natural color. Um, you've got the classic 1930s 1940s ceiling with the very interesting art deco light fixtures up here i don't know if you can see that and the leaf pattern on the ceiling got the curved cabinets very popular in the 40s down here as well with these little art deco handles which are kind of cool don't know about the kitchen um, it definitely needs work that's on the list for one of the major redos is the kitchen itself um, we'll see if we keep the original cabinets or not or just put new ones in but I wanted to show you the bathroom too the bathroom is uh, a <laughs> I wouldn't personally want to use it right now um, it needs some work it's had some updates over the years but probably going to be doing a full gut job of the bathroom but one of my favorite things, and that will probably, not probably, most definitely will stay, is the tub. So we'll probably leave the tub in place. Other than that, flooring out, this vinyl surround all comes out, maybe some drywalls coming out, vanity gone, toilet gone. Um, basically, redo the whole, the whole bathroom, except for the tub. And what I love about the tub is this classic Art Deco line work on the tub. Again, very popular in the 1930s, 1940s, um, which is where the decade we think this house is from. Um, 
I haven't pinpointed it exactly, but I have a couple options to be able to find out probably the exact year that it was built. But for right now, my best guess um, is, is right around the 1930s, maybe 1940s um, is when it was constructed um, here as well. So yeah, lots to do, but as you can see, lots of character, great condition for how old it is, um, but lots of work to do as well. So along with the house, is this garage that's built roughly at the same time as well. Also in really rough shape, which is also part of the project. Um, so along with restoring the house behind me, um, also we'll be working on this garage. So let's take a quick look at the garage too. A little bit dark inside, but you can kind of get an idea. Yep, it totally looks like a dark, scary dungeon right now, but that should hopefully all change in the future. That's what makes it fun. Hey, I'm back at the project house. Uh, I think it's about 5 p.m. right now. Just lost all my daylight and I got one more load of tools and crap from other projects that I'm gonna unload and put into the house. Getting set up for the project to start. So yeah, just thought I'd give you guys an update. I'm gonna be here about another hour or so putting all this in and then I'll probably call it a day after that. And uh, yeah, got work tomorrow morning, so can't spend too much time here uh, for the rest of the night. Anyways, take care. I'll probably uh, show you me unloading it all in the house.